UFOs have caught the attention of Congress this week. As three former military witnesses gave their testimony on mysterious flying objects. They call them UAPs instead of U, U, uh, UFOs. It's before the House Oversight Subcommittee meeting. Now, WEAR's Aubrey Spears joins us in the studio tonight. And Aubrey, uh, Congressman Gates said in the subcommittee hearing that uh, these UAP encounters are happening closer to home than we realize. That's right. Yesterday, Representative Gates said he received a protected disclosure from Eglin Air Force Base several months ago about a UAP incident that happened off the coast of Florida. The image was of something that uh, I am not able to attach to any human capability, either from the United States or from any of our adversaries. This week on Capitol Hill, Representative Matt Gates shared information on a UFO sighting in Northwest Florida in a House Oversight Subcommittee hearing. Representative Gates, who appeared as a guest in the hearing, testified he saw the radar images from the flying objects. He says the flight crew observed four aircrafts in a diamond formation on radar. One pilot who captured a photo of the UFO reports seeing a large floating orb. And when he approached, he said that his radar went down. He said that his FLIR system malfunctioned and that he had to manually take this image um, from one of the lenses and it was not automatic, automated uh, in collection as you would typically see in a test mission. Representative Gates claimed people are not coming forward with their stories out of fear of perceived consequences. Representative Anna Paulina Luna backed Gates's claim, saying witnesses are afraid to say something about it. I just want everyone to note that he's coming forward in fear of his life to put in perspective if they were really not scared about this information coming out, why would someone be intimidated like that? Gates has requested the Oversight Committee to subpoena the radar data and evidence from the UAP sighting in the Gulf of Mexico. Live in the studio, Aubrey Spears, WEAR News.